morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fellow countrymen and women. We are here at uh, Chilenge Police Station in Osaka. And uh, we came here to visit Mr. Chirufia Tayari, who is being held here without charge. Mr. Chirufia Tayari is said to have been apprehended from Livingstone yesterday. And he was transported here in the evening. Uh, on a charge that is yet to be specified by the police. We uh, approached the police and uh, uh, we were attended to by the police intelligence officer at Chilenja Police Station, a Detective uh, Inspector Kikawa. And he told us that uh, we are not allowed to visit Mr. Chirofia Tayari because of the instructions that they have from Police uh, service headquarters, uh, specifically crime one at uh, service headquarters, and uh, they told us that they are just a holding station. And uh, they told us also that uh, they are under very specific instructions not to allow anyone to visit Mr. Chilfetan. Now, this is an issue that borders on human rights. This is an issue that borders on harassment of political leaders. We are not saying that a political leader cannot commit an offense. But when a political leader is suspected of committing an offense, they need to be treated in a fair and equitable manner. They need to be treated just like any other ordinary citizen. They need to be allowed visitation by the well-wishers. They need to be allowed uh, people to bring them food and water. And they need to be uh, treated as and a Zambian citizen, basically, a citizen of this republic who is entitled to the protections under the constitution. Now, you must note that uh, Mr. Chufetari was apprehended yesterday, which was a Thursday, and today is a Friday, and uh, we are told that even his lawyers were not allowed to see him. So clearly, you can see that uh, there is a direct and deliberate ploy from uh, the Newton administration in general and the President Hakainde Ichirema in particular to ensure that Mr. Chirufia Tayari spends the weekend in detention. Uh, this is evident and uh, uh, at the end of the day, from our standpoint, it amounts to extrajudicial punishment of Mr. Chirufia Tayari even before he is found guilty of any criminal offense. And these are the things these are the things, countrymen and women, that we complain about as opposition on a daily basis. That uh, the law enforcement agencies must enforce the law in a fair and equitable manner. If someone, if Mr. Chufetari committed an offense, why didn't they charge him yesterday? And why are they not charging him today? Why do they want to insist that he should be held until the weekend passes? Until such a time that uh, President Agayin de Ichirema begins to adhere to the law of law, Zambia will continue to be under a dictatorship. And this is not what the 2.8 million citizens that voted for Mr. Hakainde Ichirema and his new donor administration actually voted for. The 2.8 million citizens voted for a better Zambia, a fair and equitable Zambia, where law enforcement is going to be applied in a fair manner, regardless of whether someone is in the opposition or they are in a ruling party. Indeed, countrymen and women, Today is another sad day under the new Dawn administration. Thank you.